morning guys, welcome back to the woods. I'm Floyd and you're watching Green Valley Outdoors. So what I'm gonna cover for you guys today is my version of a grab bag, go bag, bug out bag, whatever you wanna call it. Um, what I've got in here is enough to sustain me for at least 36 hours. If I've got a water source or a food source, I'm gonna go a hell of a lot longer. So I've got the shelter, the bedding, you know, emergency blankets. What else have you? Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what I've got inside here. So, bug out bags. What is it? To me, it's a survival kit in a bag. So this is in my house at all times. I keep it underneath my stairs. If anything drastically goes wrong, I'm able to get grab this, put it on my back, and I'm able to get in my car and drive away from the city. And know full well, I could survive for at least 48 hours, maybe, maybe longer if there's a food and water source that's not contaminated. Right, instead of me waffling, let's show you what's in. So you know, all seen, most of you have seen my survival pouch. For those just tuned in, I will put a link below to the survival pouch. It's got some med kit and obviously survival items. I'll put a link below and you can click on that and watch it in your own time. So this is just a normal backpack. It's a tactical five, uh, 511 tactical backpack. Um, I put this on last minute, I'm unsure about this. What I do like about this, all right, it, it, this bum bag, fanny pack, whatever you want to call it, it's belt kit I could put around my waist and in a survival situation, I've got something to hand, extra pockets to hold foraging, etc. I've got stuff to stow things. So, what I have here is just a little carabiner, it could always come in handy my top zips in please excuse everything i packed this months ago and i cannot remember what's in it so i'm gonna i'm cuffing it as we go so i've got a radio battery radio so the reason why i've got that is so we can keep comms and what's going on around the world because everything's going to be down radio waves probably be the last thing to go An emergency blanket. Now this can be used on numerous occasions to keep you warm and out there and keep you protected from the elements. GPS. Now might not need it, it might might not be able to use this, but I've got one just in case. Some wire for snaring. It's on a reel. I'm not going to go too much into that. And that's just in one of my top pouches there. Front uh, small po pocket is, I've got a spinner or a fishing rod. A spoon. Water filtration. An emergency torch, a small headlight, and a lighter. Front pocket, then, I have a neck knife with a fair Syrian rod. So this is a Scandi grind neck knife, it's a Mora. Um, what I, my idea is for this one is for skinning, fruit prep and stuff like that because of how sharp it is. So what I've got here then is a hatchet. So yeah, in some people's eyes too small but at the same time I can construct something to clamp around this, tie it with cord. For my survival kit and use it as a bigger axe 
to, to cut bigger things if needs be in an emergency. All right, oh, this is just a small hatchet, Gerber hatchet. Um, and in the handle, I got another knife. You never have too many knives, he says. So I got my backhoe saw. That's it, most of you are well aware what that is, a very handy piece of equipment, very reliable. I'm going over the bag here. Um, got an SE4 knife, it's, it's an old thing, I've had it for a few years. Again, my everyday knife. A pen, just in case. A charger for my electricals. And what I did have in here was a solar charger battery pack. And I've clearly taken it out and used it somewhere else. So we've got the main bit then. What I have is Army Issue 24 hour ration pack. Now, that will sustain me for a maximum of three days, I would have thought. In a survival situation, I could make that last maybe longer if I had to. I really had to. There's a lot of calories in these. Um, and those of you aware of what these things are about, you do get a lot on them. It's a 24 hour ration pack. And it, it, there's a lot in it. So, what I've got here is like a slingshot thing. Inside there, I've got my uh, bearings. What well, that basically is, one at a time, you can flick it. If I see some, I don't know, squirrel, rabbit, if I'm hair, I can take pop shots and hopefully have a chance of scoring, sourcing some fresh, fresh food. Again, another catapult slingshot. So, I've got a fishing reel to go on a telescopic fishing rod. And that's a six foot fishing rod inside there for five foot. Maybe five foot, but still, that that spinner and that that gives me another entity to source food, fresh food. Now what I have here is um, power cord made into jungle knots. For those of you who don't know what jungle knots are, it's just a series of knots going through so making little loops like that so when I'm setting up a tarp instead of tying things off I could just quickly wrap things around and I'll put that through there like that he says put it tight it's now locked off just by a knot and a gap inside the string itself so I've got four of them to help me um, put up my my tarp. If you want any more info on that, if you Google this or YouTube it, there's a lot of YouTube tutorials on what these things are all about. Very, very highly recommend and easy to use. There we go. Right, what am I putting here? That's where it gets iffy. Ah, mozzie net. For those of you that's not out outdoorsy, you never know what, what that's what that's worth its weight in gold. <sighs> SAS Pocket Survival Guide. You might laugh, but you might learn a few things from there. It might help me out. What have I got in here now? I've taken warm kit out, haven't I? So, I've got a knee band, just in case. A head over, which can double up as a neck warmer, face covering, and also a woolly hat if I needed to. I did have some warm kit in here, but a body warmer, but I've taken it out and use it some other time. Two litres of water. 
Now, why I've got that one is because if I have to, if I use up my clean water here, I could then refill that with contaminated dirty water and then purify it through here, then boil it. There. So next thing then, I've got my uh, bivy bag for me to keep me protected from the elements when I'm sleeping. I'm not going to go too much into that one. I've got my tarp. Again, keeping me protected for the elements. Keep me warm and dry. And I've got an emergency hammock. Now, this is slightly smaller, it's made of netting. I will put I'll, I'll put all this up. The, the hammock and the uh, the hammock and the tarp. So you can see the jungle knots and this in full play. And I'll I'll give you a walk walk around with that in a minute. So you can see how it is. There's a jet boil with a lighter. Inside it then, I've got a stove conversion kit. If I want to put a pan on, a little bit of gas. And obviously the thing itself. And I got another thing so this can act as a boiling vessel and a cup all in one. So when I've run out of clean water, I can put dirty water in there when I've, at, when I've um, filtered it. Then I've got something to boil it in. Brilliant piece of equipment. And then I've got something clean to drink, whatever brew kit I've got with me. That's just nice and neatly put there. So, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, can't feel anything else. A survival shovel. Again, I put a link to this below. I'm not going to go too much into depth. But I've got the extension bars here to make it come out further. Um, all these pipes are hollow, so you can put fill it with whatever stuff you want, like you know, cotton wool, you know, you know, to aid you with fire, or whatever you want. So all that is just a small size of my hand shovel that could double up as, as an axe and, and uh, a weapon if needs be so I wouldn't like to get clapped around the head with that so I put all this away nice and neatly I'll put the I'll now go through putting up the show you what the hammock and the tarp with jungle knots are like before I do that before I put that up I want to get some food on so I'm wasting away obviously Of course, the smoke going on my eyes, naturally. So, pickled gherkins, the death of that. Nothing too sexy today, guys. So, got some pita bread, some uh, shrooms. I've done some pickled onions. So I thought that might give it a better, a bit better taste, and some rocket. Got my kitchen knife. I'll open all nine, I think it is. So 
So what I have is Bok Zeg, I think a Polish, I think, Nord Nordic style bacon in a block. Cut this to how you want it, whatever thickness you want. That's what I like about this. Chuck it all in together and then crack on. Pickled onions. Smoke in my eyes. I'm not even scared. Good garden peas, cry in here. Nose is going, it's all going to shit. All this is nearly ready. We'll start prepping the uh, pit of bread. So then we're ready to build. I'll check it out right now. Now wow, look. Divine. Place that inside there. It says. Pickled onions, and he says, Pickled onion rings and shrooms. There we are. Box egg, bacon, pickled gherkins, mushrooms, pickled onions, fried pickled onions that is, and did I say rocket? Rocket. There we are. Bottoms up. Fucking good, oh, shut Check it out right now, honestly. Mm. Well, mm. Mm. I'm gonna spark and kick this down my throat, I and I'll get back to you in a minute. one but it's, again it packs out small this is uh, an army issue emergency hammock as you can see it's just made of netting that packs down small the moment of truth just checking the trees <laughs> to take see if it take a, the weight of a baby hippo and I've just eaten We're in. 
check it out right now. Yeah, so tarp, emergency hammock. So guys, that's it. That's a wrap. That's the end of the video, ish. One, two things I'll do differently with my kit right now is add my warm kit that I that I stupidly took out for some reason. It's, it's my spare stuff. I don't know why I took it out. And uh, put my solar power, power battery pack back in it. So I've got a source of power. Um, like I said, this kit is meant to support you for 36 hours. Well, support me for 36 hours. This stuff will support me 24 hours, uh, 24 hours, 48 hours at least. So uh, if I find a fresh water source and, uh, and I'm able to get some, a fresh food source, it's going to last me longer. So I'm able to snare fish and uh, slingshot, you know, with a small gain. To that end then, if you have a, already have a bug out bag and you've got stuff in there that that's different to mine comment below I'd love, like to know what you've got that's 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 slightly different or what, what you would recommend I have in my kit um, to benefit me to make me make my kit better um, also I'll put the links below for the survival kit review and the uh, survival shovel review there's two different videos I'll put the, the links below for them if you're interested that is also if you want to support the channel help it grow obviously subscribe if you can It'd be amazing and uh, I've got uh, the app buy me a coffee or proceedings go to my brew kit and food um, and you, if you're not already aware I do some major cook-ups when I can so guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you at the next one